everyone, and this is Darren. Hi. Today we are in Talat Gao Morning Market. We come to shopping, and we'll show you how to make lap mu. Let's go. Over here, there are some breakfast foods. We're going to grab something to eat. Got some patongo there. Ani kaila. Once found what she wants. Ah, uh, yeah, maybe. I think I will. So some grilled pork. No, chicken. Oh, chicken with sticky rice. Spray with some soy sauce. Looks good. Smell good? No. No. Oh, I need smell pepper. I need smell paper. Uh, now smell good. Uh, smell good. Mm, looks good. So how's that? It's good. It's crispy. Mm -hmm. It's everything medium. Crispy now. Try a bit of that. Mmm, yeah, quite tasty. A bit crispy. Yes, it's also a lady selling the rice porridge jolk. She's got that in bowls. There are some restaurants here as well. And over here, is a shop with lots of snacks. I think I might grab something from here. All right. Yeah, you want one of them? Yeah. Oh, one grab, size. Yeah, I'm gonna take one. And then what else have we got? Oh, salabao, dim sum. I'm gonna take a dim sum. So many choices. This one is one of my other favourites. I love this. Some sort of sweet stuff with sticky rice. I'm gonna grab one of those. Bat jang mu. Okay, I'm gonna grab a bat jang. Our bat jang mu nung kap. Okay. Okay. Uh, but Jung Mu. Got some interesting looking food here. I haven't had that before, I've never seen that. I'll take one of those. Don't know what that is, but it looks very colourful. As well as the range of stuff there. They've also got lots more stuff over here. Hello, Swadi Kap. Swadi Mai Kap. Okay. Me? Swadi Kap. We found a table in the restaurant area and we've got a great selection of breakfast foods here. Might start with the dim sum, which looks very good. Let's come with a bag of garlic and sauce. I'm gonna add those to it. Start with the sauce. You wanna try first? Yes, yeah, got a little disposable fork there. Roadside dim sum, that's very good. Tastes crap. Mmm, tastes like seafood, garlicky, a bit spicy from the sauce, very, very tasty, yeah? Mmm. Aroi. Aroi. Next, the bajang. Bajang mu. It's a piece of glutinous rice, we'll open him up there, show you what's inside. It's got some pork, pepper bits by the look, and a few herbs and spices. We'll try that out. Smell pepper. Tastes like pepper. Do love these glutinous rice with pork and normally other fillings as well. These have become one of my favourite foods this year. I've never really tried them before. Very, very yummy. Try these out if you come to Thailand. Next was this one. The lady said it's Kauniao Yang. Grilled rice. Open him up. Grilled sticky rice. Grilled sticky rice. She said it goes well with coffee, so I've been down to the coffee shop, grabbed myself an old-style coffee. You want to try that? Salty. 
them people. No. The smell is coconut more salty. Mm. It's got a coconut taste and yeah, coconut smell. It's not bad, not much flavour. Try it out with the coffee. The coffee had a layer of condensed milk on the bottom. I'll mix that in. This is Cafe Boran, old style coffee. Mmm, very, very tasty. You want some coffee? No. Try it out with the rice. Mm. Never see it. Eat cow nail with coffee. <laughs> yeah, not bad. Definitely better than on its own. Next is this one with purple sticky rice. I do like this. You try? It's often served for morning tea at work functions that I've been to. One side is some sort of sweet coconut, the other side is some sort of gelatinous egg custard. Very, very tasty. The sticky rice is slightly salty. And the two toppings are very sweet, very yummy. I do like this one. The last thing is this thing, which has got three coloured little jelly things, which appear to be wrapped in roasted rice. They've given us a bag of sugar as well with sesame seeds. One saying she doesn't want it with that. In my experience, if they're giving you something to add to it, food's generally better with that additive. That's why they give sugar, because it cannot taste anything, only yellow bean. <laughs> so this is why they give you sugar. Now I like what? Tanted. Yeah, looks good. Yeah. Sesame seeds. I like it. Not really my thing. Slightly salty. Very gelatinous. I like it. I like it. Yeah, not sure about aroi aroi on that one myself. Coffee though, aroi mark mark. Today's recipe is for love. It's a Thai favorite and definitely something you should eat if you come to Thailand. It's also very easy to cook. Okay, the pork shop. Oh, I don't think we'll be taking that bit. Lots of yummy looking pieces of pork there. Okay. <laughs> Bye. Don't forget to check out Orn's other recipes that she's been posting on our Facebook page. She's been posting weekly recipes for about two months now and they come out every Monday. Okay, vegetables. We've got the coriander. And this. Coriander with green onions. And then mint. 20 baht. 20 baht. Okay, next lime shop. Yeah, soft. Yeah, soft. My <laughs> Egg bat. Okay. Oh, like that. Oh. Uh -huh. Okay, red onion. AKA shallots. The rice shop next. Well, they've also got lots of sauces. Lots of special types of rice and beans and stuff. And rice by the kilo. Heaps of different choices. Cool. Back to this shop for some <laughs> chili flakes. Ten baht. Ten baht. Some more vegetables to eat the lab with. Some long beans. Small one. <laughs> Small one. 
15 baht. 15 baht. Let's go cook. Welcome back. We're home in the kitchen and we've assembled all our ingredients there. Okay. What's first? Onions. We're going to peel and probably slice those, I think, to clean onions. One coriander. One green onion. Chop off the roots. Next, the mint. So we're going to slice that also. Take the leaves off the stem. That was two stems of mint. And lime jude. <laughs> and lime jude, or juice in English. Two tablespoons. Two tablespoons of lime juice. Next, make brown rice. Toasted rice. What's the name of that in Thai? Khao Kua. Khao Kua. Pop over a medium heat and then in goes the rice. How much rice do we have? One tablespoon. One tablespoon of rice. Stir for three minutes. Khao no kua. oil. If you use a wok, you put oil in? No. No? Yeah, it's a nice golden brown colour. Three minutes now. Okay. Turn off the gas. It's nice and golden in there. Into the mortar and pestle. Not. No. Grind it up. Okay, well, that was pretty quick. Nice and powdered there. Okay, back to the gas, so we're gonna heat the pot again. Medium now. Medium, and then we're gonna add 150 mils of water. Bring to the boil. Bring to the boil. That's boiling. Now in with the pork. Wake it boil and stir around and to all well done. See, if well done, nah, we still stir like this. Mm -hmm. And after we stir, we will. Mm -hmm. If not well done, it's not well. Okay. So we turn off the gas and we're going to put it into a pot. Bowl, I should say. Drain him. And you said we're going to use some of that juice there. Three tablespoons, yeah? Yes. Next, add this everything. Fish sauce. Fish sauce. Lamb juice. Lamb juice. Chili powder. Chili powder. How much of that? One tablespoon. One tablespoon. The onion. Onion. Roasted rice. Mm -hmm. And coriander, green onion, and yep. mint. Okay. Mm, that smells good. It smells like love already. And mix. And mix. Look at it. Mmm, that's so delicious. If you follow us on Facebook, you would have seen Orn did a version of crispy fish with this recently. You 
You can also use chicken and duck. There are lots of varieties of lab here in Thailand. They're all very, very tasty. Okay, finish. Finish, that smells great. The vegetables we're gonna serve it with. We've got some Chinese cabbage there. Taking the leaves and we're going to cut the fat bit of the stem off there. So we're just using the leafy bit onto the plate and the long beans. All these vegetables have been washed since we were at the market. Cut the ends off of the long beans, slice them into two inch long pieces roughly. And the beans on there. So there we have it folks, Orn's Lab. We'll get the chef to have a taste. See what she thinks. Good, aroy. It can taste uh, mint. Everything balanced, but a little bit spicy. Everything balanced, but a bit spicy, yeah? Yeah, but good. Well, it looks and smells great. Let's try it out. Spoon of that. Great mix of flavours in there, some onion, mint, it is quite spicy, very, very yummy. Do love this dish, try it out if you come to Thailand. I do love eating this with the vegetables as well, you can sort of use the lettuce like a cup, gives it a nice crunchy, fresh texture. You can also eat this with Thai basil as well, I do love that. It is delicious. Try this one out at home. I'm sure you'll love it. So that's another episode of Orn's Kitchen. Thank you very much, Chef Orn. You're welcome. We'll see you next time. Bye, Bye for now.